If you are looking for a great no-sew project to make with those old t-shirts that you have laying around, you've come to the right place because today on Crafty Care, we're gonna be making these fun no-sew fringe tote bags. I'm Diane and I'm so glad you joined me here today at Crafty Care because we're gonna be making these tote bags, which are really easy, they're no sew, and you can use them for books, for groceries, for a beach bag. They're super sturdy and they hold a whole lot of stuff. So grab those t-shirts and let's get started. To make your own fringe tote bag, you'll need some t-shirts. You can easy use plain ones, or this is a great project for t-shirts that already have a design on them, because sometimes with a design you can't use them to make t-shirt yarn for jump ropes. You'll also need a pair of scissors, and then you may want to use some paint if you're going to paint a little design, so you'll need some fabric paint and a paintbrush for your tote bag, but that is optional. So first we're going to cut out the neck of our t-shirt, and you can trace like a plate or something round if you want to cut a straight, you know, an exact line, but I just kind of cut around the top of the t-shirt. You are going to have to cut it fairly deep down into the t-shirt, in order to make good handles, but you can always adjust that at the end if you found that you didn't cut it deep enough. Then next we're going to cut off the sleeves. We do not want any of that hem or stitching to be on there. So we will cut along the side of that seam and cut that whole sleeve off on both sides of our t-shirt. We can use the t-shirt at the end if we want to make a little pom-pom like this for on our t-shirt bag or to make our pom-pom hair ties. Now we'll take our t-shirt bag and cut across the bottom. We wanna cut that bottom seam off of there. So I'm gonna fold it in half and just cut straight across the bottom of the t-shirt, cutting off that whole bottom seam so we don't have any stitching in our bag. And we're gonna lay it flat and start cutting for the fringe. Next we're going to measure out, I cut the fringes at about a half inch width so you might want to mark the half inch width if you feel like me that you know you might start cutting thicker and thicker as you go along or too thin at least it gives a little bit of a guideline um, so sometimes i will put that on there then i will go about three inches high on the fringe and i definitely always mark the three inches um, so i'll put marks about three marks across and kind of draw a rough line across because i definitely always go too high or too low on the fringe i want to keep them even now we're gonna cut that folded edge of the t-shirt right on the edge and then start cutting our fringes that are a half inch wide and three inches up into the shirt. So we're just gonna follow our lines and cut along there. Now I realized that I was doing a white on white cutting. You might not have been able to see too well. So I put a brown fabric behind there so you can see a little better as I'm knotting. So we're gonna knot the top fringe to the bottom fringe in each little pair of fringes. And we can continue on like that all the way across but we also are going to add some more knots. Now you'll notice with just the single tie of the fringe that there is an opening there. So what we wanna do is we're going to tie them together, the ones that are next to each other. So we're gonna take that first strand, put it off to the side, then we're gonna tie one strand from the first group to a strand from the second group. So you'll have the top to bottom strands tied once together, and then you're gonna to tie together a strand from each side to side group and that's gonna take care of that little hole. So we're going to double knot. The top to bottom strands, we just did one knot, and now the side to side, we're going to do a double knot, and then that's going to clear up that little opening that we had there. I found that doing my fringes in batches works easier, so I will do a few top to bottom tied together, and then I will go right ahead and do the side to side tied together. If I do all the way across top to bottom at first, I found that I get confused as to which are the top to bottom and which are side to side. So now I'll show how we finish up these last few ends. So we're gonna still knot the top to bottom, and then I'm gonna grab the one next to it and do a double knot, and then those final ones I'm going to do top to bottom and then do the one next to it. Now in order to get that last little strand that's hanging out there on its own, I'm just going to tie that back in. Then we're gonna take the top and the sleeves and stretch those out really good. Those are gonna be our handles. So you wanna stretch them out good. Just tug on them. And at this point, if you'd like to put a design on your t-shirt, we're going to get just a piece of cardboard or paper to put behind there so the colors don't bleed through when you paint. And then we're gonna get some fabric paint 
And we're just going to make a quick little flower on here today. So I'm going to draw that out with my fabric paint. Again, make sure that you have that piece of cardboard or paper behind there or your paint will bleed through to both layers of your t-shirt and you don't want that to happen. So I'm going to put my flowers on there and then I will color them in. So at this point, then I will get out my paintbrush and fill my little pink flowers in. Of course, you see we have a heart on some of the bags. You can do any design you want. Really quick and simple. Paint that on there and it won't take too long for it to dry. So this is great if you have plain t-shirts and want to put your own design on. It's kind of fun. If you have kids, they can design whatever they want. They can put their name on it, words on it if it's their book bag for the library and put books on it. So whatever design you like. Now we're going to go back to our sleeves, our handles. And you could just use it as it is and use the sleeve part as a handle. But then when your bag is on, the so on your side, you won't see the pattern as much. So we're going to put our two sleeves together. Now we're going to take a piece of fabric that we have left over from the bottom hem. And we're just going to tie that really tight. Tie those two handles together at the top. Make a good solid knot in there. Pull it really, really, really tight. We don't want that to come apart. And then we're going to cut that. And that'll be at the top of our bag. Now when we lay it out, you'll see there's your handle. Now if you notice I'm seeing on mine. There we go. Now I'm noticing on mine that that hole is not big enough to go around my arm. So this is the part where we just go in and we cut that a little bit larger and stretch it out some more so that I know that it'll fit well over my arm and your t-shirt back is done. I hope you loved making these tote bags with me today and if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button down below and also if you'd like to see more projects like this each week hit that subscribe button to craft to care and until next time have fun crafting to care.